How's it going, everybody? This is Kasuya the Game Hunter with another video with Loadout. Now we're gonna get a little more uh, informative. Okay, this is my first video of uh, Loadout, the web, the weapon crafting tutorials. Okay, um, just gonna probably share a little bit of information about the the weapons that I'm currently using, and they're very effective for me. So maybe you guys can. Give it a shot or probably try something similar. Okay, so as the main weapon of this loadout that I'm using is the launcher. Right now is level eight. Um, you know you can choose between a rifle launcher, pulse, and beam, but the launcher is uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm always be like a quake kind of player, so a rocket launcher is always very effective for me. Um, first of all, let's go for the customization. Uh, you could, as a stock, we use the I use the compact. It gives me a good uh, balance between uh, you see the, between damage, fire rate, reload time, and hip ac accuracy. Uh, compared with some other stocks, uh, I could probably go with the standard or the compact. With the compact, is the one that is working very well for me. Actually, get a level two. As a scope, uh, you can go for the iron side easily, um, but you, there is a lot of people play with the remote control or the laser guided. Uh, System so you can like actually move the rocket for more accuracy. Uh, I can, I'm gonna keep it with this one for now, but if it's between that one and the iron side, the ones that I'm using. Like I said, there's some people like to play like a sniper with a rocket launcher. Yes, it sounds crazy and everything, but it works very well with the remote control. As the barrel, uh, this is it's up to you guys. Uh, you can just go for the three barrel, white barrel, penta barrel, extra barrel. Uh, personally, I'm Playing between the penta barrel and the three barrel because the, there is a there is some difference between the stability. Well, clip size is up. It's obvious, right? Penta barrel have five, quad barrel four, three barrel three rockets. Uh, but between the fire rate, the reload time, and the damage, you need to find out what is actually gonna work better for you. Um, like I say, in my case, I like the between the penta barrel. And the, the three barrel, that those are the two that I like the most. They do, uh, they have like a good balance. As a three, I go for the semi-automatic. That's a not brainer in this case. I, I really like it. So that I, I give me some extra damage. That I, you see, if I if I try to change it to some others, I'm gonna start losing damage and reload time and. Uh, I believe the semi-automatic, when I have full control on when I'm going to shoot my rocket is actually better. That way you're not going to lose all those ammunition that you have. As a payload, I use with the slug. I just go with the slug. It's a very, very, very powerful uh, payload. And propulsion between the rocket and the core screw, those two are probably, they're probably the, most, the one that adapt better to my game style. And like I say, this is so open to discussion everybody can get their own ideas and just give you some tips uh, for people newcomers to the loadout game uh, so that can give you an idea how you can probably start playing with some basic stuff all right um, and something that is working for me this loadout is working very well for me I use impact because uh, I want to make sure that my rocket explode where I'm shooting and aiming okay uh, detonator contact so it's gonna explode right away as soon as I get the contact, uh, instead of manual time or proximity, because all those I'm gonna lose some damage, and uh, uh, I guess I, I'm a quake ex pro player, so I like to use my rocket and I wanna make sure that it goes right when I'm aiming, right? Um, for the dispersal, I use the cluster, I like it, it the way that the, 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 the rockets can explode in like a six pieces, that allow me to, to be more flexible. So, for example, when I'm playing Blitz, I can shoot. The ceiling of the if the enemy is in one location, I do damage to everybody. And as my secondary weapon, I'm working with this shotgun. All right? I really love it. I, I, like I say, I like to play close. So as a barrel, I use the narrow scuttle, which is um, it's gonna create a, a cone of damage in front of me. Uh, I like this one instead of the the wide because this one allow me to just focus my damage in one area, right? Uh, iron sight, I really don't need to have any <laughs> special scope for a shotgun. Semi-automatic again, because I want to make sure. Uh, I, like I say, you you sacrifice damage when you change your trigger, and in this case it's a shotgun. I want to make sure that I'm, it's not a full automatic shotgun. Okay, it's not a SPA 12 or something like that. I uh, just want to make sure that I have completely control. Um, 
Mag of the scene, the shell loading is better in this case because it has a good balance between the standard and the high capacity in the clip size, right? Uh, yeah, the high capacity give me a bunch of uh, ammunition, but uh, the shell loading give me eight, which is pretty good, and the reloading time is pretty useful too. I mean, it's not too bad, so actually that works very well for me and my game style, right? Uh, so let's get into one game. We're gonna put this weapon on action uh, so you guys can see it, and then we can. Uh, taken from there, so you guys can have your own. Uh, I, I want to see your comments on so what, what is your loadout, what is your preference weapons, okay? I'm using the shield as uh, my first uh, accessory. Uh, we play any blitz in here, and I guess we are losing big time. <laughs> I joined probably the wrong game, but let's see the rocket launcher. You see, I can shoot aiming through the uh, aiming towards the floor or the ceiling, and still do a lot of damage to all the enemies in that area that's where the cluster become very useful right look at see right now I'm just shooting against the, the, the ceiling um, performing a decent damage to everybody's in the room um, my shotgun is also very nice in this part when it gets in close combat you see I can actually easily 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 uh, kill people with one or two shots depending so I, I try to keep my balance between uh, a little bit of distance with my uh, launcher and my my shotgun that helped me a lot in close in close combat. You see, once once I get close, I just need to switch. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill myself with the um, with the with the splash damage of the rockets. Right? Ooh, it's getting nasty here. It's always good. In this game mode, it's very important to work like a team. Uh, we're gonna be talking about more about later, uh, because and, and also it's very important to know when it's a good moment to retrieve. Because if you know if you don't retrieve on time, you can actually die, and then you're gonna respond too far away uh, to the capture point that is not gonna be even useful for your team, right? So right now you see in close combat. I know it's, it's like a halo hopping strategy you have to use because yeah you need to try to get close to your enemies otherwise the shotgun is completely useful completely completely useful the, even when you think that you are in range the damage is not gonna be the same so you see I gotta switch very fast between my uh, rocket launcher and my shotgun that is actually making the difference at this point and like I say in games like this when they like blitz for example you see, there is a capture point in that location. You can just go there and start providing some, some. Oh, you follow me, dude? Don't follow me. I don't like that. Um. Oh, shit. Nice. Um. And also get to know the maps, of course. Uh, that that that's another kind of tips there. We're not gonna be talking in this video. But uh, it's important to get to know where all the healing packs are and uh, how to control those healing packs. Sometimes it's very very smart to like uh, do some damage to yourself uh, in order to use those hell package. Oh crap! 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 Oh, couldn't make it on time. Um, yeah, they kill us. They destroy our kill streak in eight, which it wasn't too bad. So, um, so what I was trying to say is that uh, that is is important to get to know the maps. So you need to know when you're gonna read. Uh, Treat uh, when you're gonna need to attack. <laughs> the shotgun does a lot of damage in close combat. That's what is uh, very, very effective. Um, that's actually fit perfectly in my game style. So that's what I'm. I, I mean, I got a lot of different weapons. Uh, I got some rifles, uh, kind of like sniper rifles, also with bolt action and everything. But uh, they don't actually. Um, fit me all the time. This one is like a more classic loadout that I can use go down there you go um, but again this is this is open menu for everybody everybody can have their own impressions opinions and everything regarding this loadouts and just giving you the uh, some quick tips with my launcher and my shotgun shotgun is very good but like I said you need to know and manage your your close combat uh, action okay because otherwise you're gonna be missing a lot of shots and that's not good. So we did pretty good. 11 and 1 this game. Just wanna show you real quick my weapons in action. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy everybody.